Governor Deval Patrick called in the National Guard after declaring a state of emergency from possible flooding in Massachusetts. The storm is expected to bring enough rain to easily eclipse the all-time Boston rainfall record for May. 700 National Guard troops have been deployed to help residents to prevent any further damage. We've been talking with local officials here in Clinton and elsewhere to make sure that they are well coordinated with the state agencies and I think it's going well so far. For the last day and a half we've been sandbagging in preparation for the high tide in the uh, river. Uh, they're expecting it to go as high as it was before which gives us probably about two feet above the street level we're standing on. Uh, it floods all the basements in this entire area. Uh, we will be pumping as we can to uh, remove the water, but uh, the rate it comes in is just too much. It's almost impossible to keep up with. Just talking to the homeowners and reassuring them, uh, making right? sure that they are uh, informed about the course of the storm, that, that the uh, emergency uh, officials know who is where so that in the event there is a, an evacuation, uh, we can get to everybody and get to them quickly. Residents' homes are already receiving damage from the storm. The last storm's flooding caused hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage and people are scared that that will happen again. They already water is coming up from the, floor. From the, from the ground. We take uh, everything from the first floor, we put it in the second floor, whatever we can. Yeah. Um, I think it will give us a couple more hours than we expect. I can't tell you if it's going to work or if it's not going to work, but it's definitely a big help. If the, it the keeps cup. raining and raining, this is going to happen more. No mandatory evacuations have been ordered, but residents are urged to monitor the storm closely and prepare for the possibility of evacuating quickly. For The Digital Journalist, I'm Megan Mitchell.